Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back again and I want to make your purchase a lot easier because I see a lot of good things and bad things about this product right here. This is the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for your Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. Now, it is very crucial that you guys watch this video and then go and watch the video from Whitestone if you're ever going to plan on picking it up and look at how it's done. If you follow their process step by step and it takes no more than five minutes, then your fingerprint scanner will work. But the other main trick into getting your fingerprint sensor to work properly, like almost 100% of the time, is the way you actually have to register your fingerprint. So th this is what this video is going to be about. But first, let me spin the camera around. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to take a look what, uh, at what's inside of this. And then we're also going to take a look at my phone and see how this uh, glass screen protector held up after about a week of using it in my pocket around work, just in day to day life. Uh, see if there's any scratches on it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then we'll go and open this thing up and I'll show you guys exactly what's in the box and what you should be definitely on the lookout for. So as you guys can see, full ultrasonic recognition. It does work, I'll show you how. Full clarity, full coverage, and full filling. Again, please re-register your fingerprint. You have to do it. <laughs> and you also have to use the UV light. These are the tricks to make this thing work. So guys, this is exactly what it comes with, okay? You're gonna have the instructions. I highly recommend you read these, but if you look at the video that I will link to at the end of this video, uh, you won't exactly have to read it because you'll see exactly what to do and how to do it and how long to do it for. But if you have any double questions, this is your go-to right here. You got your dust removal stickers, your alcohol wipes, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. These are actually sandwiched in. You won't be able to take this out unless you pretty much pull it apart this way. Once you do that, you will be greeted with the bridge that will be used to put the liquid into the screen or onto the display, I should say. And then you will have two liquids. You might be asking, Mark, why is there two? We only need one. That is true, but they most likely know you're gonna mess up. So they include a second one for the price of one. And this right here is the display along with your microphone, um, uh, the, the, the headset speaker cover up so the liquid doesn't get inside. And I can tell you it's curved. The glass is curved as you guys can see right there. It's curved. This is what you will be using to cure the liquid onto the glass of the phone. Super easy, you just pop the legs out, plug it in via USB. It'll work from any USB. You set it over the phone, 15 seconds top, 15 seconds bottom, one minute, one minute, boom. You're ready to rock. As you guys can see from the camera hole cutout, it is on my phone. It's been on my phone for about a week now and not a single scratch, not, not a single scuff, not a single scratch. And I will show you how quick the fingerprint scanner works. Now listen, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty quick. Okay, let's try it with the screen off. I don't know what more you guys want. It works super well. It's even faster if you got the screen on. Check that out, come on. So, I'm gonna show you guys a trick on how you can do this, okay? If you set up your fingerprint normally, you won't be able to do it this quick. Maybe you will, maybe you can't. I don't know, everyone's fingerprints is different. Don't ask me. I don't really know forensics that well. Go into biometrics and security. You wanna to go to your fingerprints 
And first of all, you wanna delete every single fingerprint you got. Add a fingerprint. Now, do not look at the demo on how to do it. That's wrong. Samsung, you guys are showing it wrong. Look at this uh, section right here where you have to put your finger. Think of it as the rule of thirds, except from up to down. So, do not scan your finger in the middle of that square every single time. In fact, move your finger a little bit up, scan it, move it in the middle, scan it, move it down a little bit, scan it, move it left, scan, and then right, scan. So that way you won't actually have to hit the sensor directly in the middle for you to unlock your phone. So that way it becomes much more accurate. So for example, I'm gonna touch a little bit above the square, scanning it. Now the middle of the square, the bottom, left, right. Now notice I'm still on the first scan. It did not ask me to go to, an, to my next finger, but I don't care. I don't listen to the rules. I break the rules, baby. So, <laughs> so now midway, I'm gonna actually use my second thumb. Up scan, middle scan, down scan, left. Okay, see that was a little too left. So let's move in a little closer left and then right. And then again, up, middle, down. So what you're doing is essentially adding two fingers to the same print. So what I, what I just did is I added two fingers or two thumbs to the same print. That makes it much more accurate. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. Again, using two thumbs. Moving from up, down, left, right. Do not only hit the center. All right, done. So now I'm gonna turn the phone off. It works. As you guys can see, I'll do it again. Now with the screen on, check out how fast that is. So guys, this is how you add a fingerprint sensor to the white stone dome. In fact, I think this is how you should add it regardless if you have this product or not. It is the best way, the fastest way, the most secure way to add a fingerprint. So guys, I hope this video helped you out to make your purchase decision. The white stone dome is definitely two thumbs up in my opinion. It works, it keeps your phone safe. For crying out loud, it is the only glass screen protector that is capable of doing what I just did. So why not get it? Links will be in the description below and as always, I hope you have an amazing day.